Back at Coors Field, game 161 of the regular season. And the Dodgers know their postseason fate. They will own the number one seed in the National League playoffs. That road in October begins next Saturday at Dodger Stadium. Shohei Otani, 54 home runs, National League best. 57 stolen bases, second in all the majors. And he is in position to do something this game has not seen in quite some time. That's when a triple crown in the National League. Luis Arias of the Padres, the one in his way, five points clear in the batting title race. But Shohei Otani has closed the gap in a short amount of time. Last NL triple crown, Ducky Medwick for the Cardinals in 1937. The last triple crown in either league was Miguel Cabrera in 2012. And again, just nine days ago, there were 33 points separating Arise and Otani. Now only five, with Arise sitting for the Padres this evening. The Padres have already locked up the top wild card spot in the National League. The math has been done. Otani, if he gets five hits tonight, seven ABs, that would do the job. <laughs> Shohei Otani uh, getting ready to lead off against Antonio Sensatella. Here's the pitch. Otani stalls it to right. Cave came in, now going back. It goes over his head and off the base of the wall. Otani going to settle for a loud single to start the game. We'll be doing some math with Otani every time he's up. He's got to catch Luis Arise. He doesn't even have to pass him. If he ties him and shares the batting crown, he would win the triple crown. So he's one for one. And that'll raise his average a little bit, a little closer to 310. So Otani is aboard with Mookie Betts on his way to the plate. There he goes. And Betts swings and pops it up. Now showy has got to get back to first quick. Comes down to Tolia, the flip, not in time. They're gonna, they're gonna go to second. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Shohei ran right across the infield. Is a no-brainer. Shohei just ran right across the grass on the infield. He didn't retouch. So a rare mistake for Otani. And now there are two outs. Base is empty, now oh. two out. Gavin Lux with a base hit. That's a familiar sight. This is how the first inning began yesterday. Two out, nobody on. Gavin Lux single, and then Teoscar Hernandez came to the plate. Teoscar's OPS over a thousand. He swings here, chases a slider outside. He strikes out. Yoshinobu Yamamoto, set for his 18th start of the season and fourth off the injured list. This is lifted to shallow left, and Chuck's got another knock. Charlie Blackman leads off the night with yet another hit. Now five games on the homestand and hits in all five of them. Now Ezekiel Tovar, he tripled Charlie home in the first inning last night. For station identification. This is looped into center. It'll drop. Charlie Blackman's going to long stride it to third. First and third, no one out. Yeah, right on the trademark for Ezekiel. That's 174 hits. He's fourth in the league in that category. And Ryan McMahon, left-handed batter now against Yamamoto. And this ball is hit in the air to right. Betts makes the catch. And Rookie won't even venture a throw to the plate. One nothing. Colorado. Blackman scoring on the sack fly by Ryan McMahon. Something about first innings for Yoshinobu Yamamoto, EK. It's his 12th earned run in a first inning this year. 582, the first inning ERA of Yamamoto this season. After that, it drops down to two and a quarter. Ground ball to second. Lux, Edmund, and a wide throw. Kike helped Tommy Edmund out and got the tag to complete the double play and get Yamamoto out of the first. Dodgers now with runners at first and second in one out. Smith represents the tying run at second base. Kike Hernandez. Smith on second. Edmund on first. High fly ball. Left center field. Kike's watching it. And it is gone. Kike Hernandez uncorks a go-ahead shot. 3-1 Dodgers. A bomb to center field. 430 feet. And the chance of Kike Kike here in Colorado. But what a blast by Hernandez. They're two away, and now Otani walking back to the plate. What can he do? He's one for one. First pitch grounded to short. And a shuffle and throw from Tovar on the mark. Zach Bond for the center fielder puts Jones on second. So here's Jake Cave. Yamamoto's one two pitch. Strike three. Got him swinging. 25 pitches into the game. Yamamoto gets his first swing and miss here. Aaron Schunk, a right handed batter. 
Kike has it. The line drive will secure the last out of the second inning. They strand the leadoff batter Jones and stay ahead three to one. Mookie Betts will lead off for the Dodgers in the third inning, up three to one. And Mookie swings and drives it to left center and deep. That ball's back. It bounces off the track and off the wall. Mookie around first. He's on his way to second with a leadoff stand-up double. Double number 24 on the season for Betts. And Gavin Lux the hitter. Gavin Lux, opposite field fly ball, left center field. Hilliard on the run. He's on the track. He reaches out, and the ball found him. Betts will tag up and head to third base. The runner at third, one out. The Garakis will bring the infield in for Teoscar Hernandez. Swung on and missed. Went upstairs and beat Teoscar for out number two. So we up to Max Muncy. Yeah, Max, Max will get an opportunity here. Another 0 2. Skips by. Here comes Mookie. He'll slide in safely. And the Dodgers now lead 4 to 1. Charlie Blackman now had that leadoff single and scored the Rockies run. Struck him out. That's the second of the game for Yamamoto. Two gone in the third inning. Ezekiel Tobar, the hitter. And the pitch is hit deep to left. Going back to Oscar Hernandez to the wall. He runs out of room. It's a home run. Ezekiel Tobar, first pitch he sees in his second at bat, comes up with his second hit. This time a long ball. And the Rockies are back on the board. Four to two, Los Angeles. Now Ryan McMahon is next. Strike three calls after getting squeezed for most of the night. Yamamoto will take that. But Tobar's solo shot makes it a two run game going to the fourth. Smith on third, two away. Kevin Kiermaier 0 for 1, grounded out to third. Last night, saw him come off the bench, go two for two, double an RBI, run scored. His first hit since the 21st of August. First pitch grounded through in the left field. Another RBI for Kiermaier, and he's got the wheels going for second base. He's going to be tagged out, but Smith had already scored. But they get the run back, ahead by three once again. 5 2. Yamamoto has three Ks now, and he make it four. Yes, he can. Just dove away from Tolia. The left fielder, Nolan Jones, one for him so far. So the ground out to Edmund, provided the throw's good. Two away. Splitter. Yes, he did. Bookending strikeouts in a 10 pitch fourth inning for Yoshinobu Yamamoto. The Dodgers in front of the Rockies, 5 to 2. Shohei Otani leading off the fifth. Sensatella's payoff pitch. Upstairs, ball four, leadoff walk. So now Mookie Betts trying to follow up his third inning double. There he goes, way before Sensatella. Sensatella balked, it looks like. Mookie drives the ball right center field. Hilliard will track back and will make the catch. Second to third for Otani. Second walk of the inning for Sensatella, and that's going to do it for him. Bud Black's coming to get it. And Chris Well out of the University of Michigan makes his 13th appearance. Facing Teoscar Hernandez with one out and runners at the corners. First pitch swinging, first pitch drilled, left field, gone! And a new career high for Teo. That's number 33. That's my guy. What a shot for Teoscar Hernandez. It traveled 429 feet as he greeted the brand new reliever with a three run homer. Just like the fifth, Shohei Otani kicks off the sixth. Otani, ground ball, base hit. Yes. Otani is two for three. Should get him back up around 311 or so. We'll see in a second. Otani on the run. A stolen base for Otani, and that is number 58. Fifth plate appearance of the night for Otani. He comes up here in the seventh. He is two for three, hitting 311. Swing and a drive to right, but right at Jake Cave. And he handles the line drive shoulder high to retire Otani, who is two for four. Taylor has gone halfway. Rio down and in, and Muncy walks again. Second time he's drawn a walk. Third time he's been on base. And the Dodgers with runners at first and second for Will Smith. Base hit into right field. Lux waved around. Throw home. Not in time. RBI single for Will Smith. Nine to two. So Pajes draws the walk, and now two men on with nobody out for Shohei Otani. 
Swung in and a bouncer to the right side. And making the stop is Shunk out in right field. He slides, comes up, throws, and Otani is out. Shohei now is going to need a really big day tomorrow. Infield is in, one out. All right, CT taking one to right field. His third hit scores the tenth run. And the Dodgers now lead it 10 to 2. Gavin Lux the hitter. Base hit to right. Okay, we'll take that. That's that's good. We'll throw another barrel on him. Gavin Lux with three hits. 11 to 2. And here comes Buddy Black, which means a pitching change is coming. Jake Bird's 35th appearance for Colorado, 2-2 two and, two and a 458 earned run average. Dodgers with two on, one out. Chris Taylor at second base. Gavin Lux at first. And Teoscar Hernandez up. Look oh, 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 oh. And fastball got away from Bird. And loads the bases once again. Here at first, Max Muncy up. He's walked twice and doubled. Max ripped to right. This ball will get down and get all the way to the wall. Taylor's in. Lux behind him. Two run double, Max Muncy. And the Dodgers lead it 13 to 2. The patient is fading, but it still has a pulse. And Nolan Jones, two for three. Strike three. And that's a win for LA. The Dodgers blow out the Rockies 13 to 2. And the Dodgers, who earlier today clinched home field throughout, guarantee themselves the best record in baseball now at 97 and 64. The Rockies. For the second consecutive year, have a 100-loss season. They go to 61 and 100.